Let me show you how you can easily change short displacement from these to these in just some simple steps. There are two steps to actually achieving this, and the first one is actually choosing the right shader. Now the right shader is under the material section in your 3D viewport. You go here, you go to default, then we go to metallic roughness default and select the tessellation plus displacement. Now, take a look at this. If I go here to my displacement, you're gonna see that this is still kind of wonky. But if we pull our tessellation factor from 16 onwards, you're gonna see that now it starts to get smoother. If you go lower, it will just lose quality. The more the tessellation factor we have, the more smooth your transition will be in the displacement. But it's gonna be better if you actually choose the right mesh for this. In Substance Designer, you can choose different meshes. And you can go here to the scene and use any of these. Now, as you can see, this is actually divided in two sections in here. For the first, first section, you're not gonna want to use any of the initial ones, you're only gonna go for the plane high res. This plane high res has actually quite a lot of polygons and allows you to displace the material, creating a really nice effect with the high map you are creating. Now, the other meshes you want, might wanna use are the round cylinder. This is one we have seen quite a lot of time in, in these shorts. The round cube, this is another one. It's actually quite good for these kind of materials, but it's not my favorite. And finally, the sphere two tiles. This sphere allows you to actually tile your material, meaning you can go in here and tile it as much as you want, and it's gonna actually work like the sphere, the sphere renders you see in our station. If you want to see more learning content about Substance Designer in your feed, then drop me a follow, I will be doing that every single day.